It was a fine morning in October 2013 in Pantheim village near Teman in the Ga East municipality of the Great Accra region. Then 13 year old primary five people, Mavis Asakuma, was going about her household chores because she was in the afternoon shift. The weather changed all of a sudden as thick clouds formed and moving at a fast pace across the skies. Scared about the approaching storm, the wife of 35-year-old accused rapist Paul Ademan pleaded with Mavis to go and inform her children to stay away from school. The rain ceasing while she was delivering the message to her playmates. Paul rushed in from the bathroom and asked Mavis to stay until the rains were over. And this turned out to be the turning point of her life. Paul Ademan brutally raped and warned her never to tell anyone. But Mavis reported the incident to her sister and the woman who sent her. The next day, Mavis reportedly fell at school and became paralyzed both in the limp and arms. Three days when I went to school, I felt some pain. Soon I came home, I felt that one leg is paining me. That's why and my wrist, this is something is removed. That's why I cannot walk. Paul went into hiding in the eastern region for two years. Intensified police investigation led to his arrest in January 2016. Paul Ademan changed his plea to guilty at a gender-based violence court after months of trial. But sentencing was delayed because the Accra Psychiatry Hospital failed to produce medical report on the accused since September 2016. Preliminary medical examination revealed she suffered damaged spine and hip bones. She was to produce 822 CDs for further examination to diagnose and inform the surgery. She will remain in this condition unless help comes from somewhere. She struggled each day in this makeshift compound. As of now, we don't have money to solve that case, so we want the Ghanaian people to help us. Earlier, TV3 expose of her plight attracted the attention of a local church which donated her with a wheelchair and enrolled her back in school. Mavis is now in primary three because she could no longer write properly. A concerned neighbor, SWO1 Kwesi, popularly known as Area Papa Oware, called for public support. Uh, the condition of the medical she is going through, in fact, uh, the cost is too high. And uh, the family alone cannot. So if uh, we get some philanthropies to assist. Until then, Mavis Asakuma will remain here without hope.